My name is Becky Rice. I'm the executive director of the first year project course here at the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. So the first year project is part of the Tuck Core curriculum here. Uh, we are in the spring term, so we anchor the first year that students have at the Tuck School. We are an experiential learning project course uh, with the intention of uh, utilizing the core experience that students have to apply to a real business problem for a client in the spring term. Um, spring term is nine weeks and our teams are five students. We do have an option with the, within the FYP for students to do their own entrepreneurial project. We call those EFYPs, Entrepreneurship FYPs. So Entrepreneurship F FYPs essentially sit within the larger context of the First Year Project course. And it's just one of the sort of many options that students can, can decide to, to be involved with, with the course um, when they're thinking about what they want to do in the spring term for the FYP. So we will work with clients across industries, across geographies, on all functional areas of, of a business question. Um, we do, uh, are, we're very confidential with our clients, so we don't mention uh, a lot of them, but there are a few that I can tell you about that I think uh, folks would recognize. We have worked for uh, many projects with Under Armour. We have worked with Brooks Running. We've worked with Irving Energy up in Canada. So there's just examples of some of the kinds of, of clients we've had and also the breadth of, of clients. With the FYP, we work with quite a few very early stage clients and nonprofit clients. So organizations that might not be readily recognizable, but organizations that have a true need for an MBA business team to work for them. And we find that, um, that that's a really good match for our course to work with some of these very, very early stage technology, healthcare, um, in kind of emerging um, industry uh, organizations. Last year, um, we did. We actually uh, were working with a new organization at Dartmouth called Greenshot, which is this climate incubator. It's a wonderful new program here at Dartmouth College, and through Greenshot, we actually spoke with quite a few of the green shop participants last year that forwarded projects to the first year project that were then selected. Not all of them, but a handful of them were selected by FYP teams. So I know I'm not giving specifics, but these are early stage client uh, climate projects, um, entrepreneurial in nature, uh, across kind of sort of the, the, the climate spectrum, if you will. Um, so very, very different kinds of companies, um, but the opportunity to work within this green shot environment at Dartmouth to forward some of their participants to working with an MBA team at the Tuck School is, is just another example of this great connection that we have um, through, through, uh, through Dartmouth in this one example. So um, again, very early stage, but really across the board with the types of technologies for these companies, um, uh, renewables, um, sort of within a service and industry within climate change. So really across the board with the types of projects that we could be looking at. So last year we did uh, four or five AI connected projects. Really exciting to have the opportunity to work on either companies that were um, AI companies, if you will, or companies that are trying to understand how they will utilize AI. So kind of a different approach. Um, we, we do a lot of nonprofit social sector work here at, at, with the FYP. So diversity, equity, inclusion, um, social sector in general. We love working with organizations that are working with some of this very, very important work. And every year we do projects that would touch on DEI, um, again, so social impact, um, social justice, that sort of thing. One project that I can mention is um, in the social sector complex, uh, social sector example, 
uh, last, not last year, but the year before we worked for the Ukrainian Catholic University, um, looking at their, their transition post-war for, for veterans that were coming back from the war. You know, what a tremendous experience. This is this is where the FOB can be so transformational. Uh, what an amazing experience to work with um, UCU. And this is still during the conflict. I'm looking at how strategically this organization can come out of this this time that they're going through and and support the the men and women coming back from this conflict. So um, it was a business question, yes, but the value for that team goes beyond, I think, just answering that business question and the impact that they had being able to work with this organization and feel that they're really providing so much good um, uh, through the work that they're doing. So we work, and, and I may have said this already, but we do work with real companies on real business questions. So the topics are whatever the client will bring to us of a business nature. We do a lot of marketing focused projects. We will work with projects that are operational, uh, finance projects, certainly strategy projects. So the projects, we don't limit the type of projects that we work with. What we do look for are projects that are of a strategic nature for an organization, um, a, a project that will hopefully move something for that organization once the tuck team spends nine weeks looking at the, the question that's been posed to us. Um, so we again, we work with all functional areas and then we have the again the entrepreneurship track which does have its own structure within the, the, the confines of the course um, as they're uh, looking at really a, a, a new venture, looking at the lean startup methodology, looking at some of these other questions that an entrepreneur would want to, uh, to ask and answer before they actually sort of decide to start that business. We are in the spring term of the first year here at Tuck. The idea is that students will take their previous work experience. All of our students have uh, previous work ex experience before coming to Tuck. Um, and then they have most of the core foundational business classes by the spring term and apply those that knowledge, that new learning, that experience that they bring to a project in the spring. So we anchor the spring for the first year um, and it's a nine week course that runs from the end of March to the end of May. Our teams are five students. They are working part time on projects during the spring term. We, they are also taking other courses at the same time as the FYP. So we do not have a dedicated time period. We work within the structure of the spring term. I've been at Tuck almost 30 years. I mention that because my first 13 years I was in our career services office. So I, I have a, a, a pretty great experience of, of what uh, how important career transitions are for our students. The FYP has um, a very strong connection. If a student wants this to be the case with, with uh, looking at opportunities to experience uh, a new industry, a new company, a new function that a student might be interested in. So we have very strong connection with, with career aspirations. Again, if a student wants there to be that, um, we uh, have wonderful faculty advisors that work on the first year project in the spring. I believe right now we are three of those faculty advisors, uh, 11 faculty advisors are actually career service counselors. So we even work with some of our colleagues in career services that both sometimes um, help us source projects that certainly are counseling and advising students when they're meeting them in, in their career service meetings and how they can utilize many resources at Tuck, but one of the many resources to help in the job search can be the FYP. And, and the opportunity to source, source projects where a student can bring in a project from a company or within an industry of their choice is really, really, really powerful for those students who are, are, are making that career uh, change 
and are really looking at a specific company or industry to work in. First and foremost, we are a course, so student learning is our primary goal. Uh, we love it when uh, clients go away satisfied, and they um, almost always do, but we are a course. So learning is our, student learning is our first objective. Within that, however, we always wanna make sure that the FYP is current, connected, and we hope at the end of the day for an individual student transformative. So current, the course changes every year. We are a course, we have um, course guidelines, we have a structure to the course, but every year the course changes because of what students bring to the course. Last year, for instance, we had 11 students do entrepreneurship projects, working with four of their classmates. That means 55 students were working on entrepreneurship projects. We had 11 students source projects, bring in a company that they were specifically interested in, an industry that they were specifically interested in, and with four of their classmates, they worked on those projects. Annually, we'll staff about 60 project teams, so a third of what we did last year was driven absolutely from what students wanted to do. So that makes it current because students are bringing in what is new and happening out there in the, in the business world. Connected, the FYP, we're very, very fortunate to have a, such an amazing alumni network here at the Tuck School. So we heavily leverage alums in looking for projects. Students will, I will, with the projects that I source. Dartmouth alums also. We work with the centers here at Tuck. Uh, our research centers are amazing partners with the FYP to help us source projects. Um, and then also to help student teams when they're actually working on the projects because they're content experts. So for instance, last year we had quite a few climate related projects. Um, uh, many of them came from the Revers uh, Center here at Tuck in partnership with the FYP. Um, and then just the opportunity to reach out to clients and make that connection with someone that you maybe have never connected with before because of the opportunity that the course presents for clients. So we always want to be connected. So current connected and then transformative. We are a course student learning, advancing their MBA knowledge is where we start, but the FYP I believe in most cases brings a student something that they didn't expect. Some new learning, it might be the role that they played on the team with their peers, it might be that relationship that they develop with the client. So we hope that the, the FYP is, is a great learning experience but is also a transformative experience for a student. Really, where the FYP is different starts with differences at Tuck. We're a smaller school. Uh, we work very closely with students because we're small. We can we can we can customize, and students can customize this course in ways that I think is it's it's really difficult at a larger school. I would love to speak with every single first year about the FYP. That doesn't necessarily happen, but the opportunity to have a conversation with me is certainly there. Uh, it's, it's required if you're an, um, an entrepreneurship student or if you are self-sourcing a project. So the size of Tuck allows this connectiveness with, um, with the office that manages the course, with our faculty and with everyone else that helps the FYP actually um, when we're executing the course. So, uh, so that smallness is unique. The opportunity within a, a course here at the Tuck School for a student to really do what they would like to do. Within the confines of a course, a student can pick the, the, the company that they want to work for. They actually, at Tuck, our students are, are forming their own team, so they find the peers that they want to work with. Students being able to really, really customize this experience for their personal and professional goals is something that we think is a hallmark of the course. When you add in something like our entrepreneurship track, the opportunity to actually work on a possible future business venture with four classmates in the spring term for a course, 
we think that's really unique and really special. So the, the, it, what's, what is unique about the FYP is, is in many ways what is unique about Tuck, um, our, our, how small we are, how engaged we are with what our students do, how involved we are with helping them get to where they want to be um, within sort of Tuck in general, but certainly within the FYP.